Whew, good morning. Air temperature is 31 degrees. Water temperature is 38.7. And I'm in Henderson Harbor on Lake Ontario. I'm going to do some pike and pickerel fishing today with some Kitek swim baits. I'm going to be using uh, TFO's Professional Walleye Series rod. This is a 7 foot 6 inch rod. It's rated for 4 to 10 pound test. I've got it spooled up with a size 20 reel and I'm running 5 pound Cortland Master Braid with a 12.9 uh, pound fluorocarbon leader to uh, a 2.8 fat swing impact on a quarter ounce head. It may go to 8 ounce because it's not windy. We'll figure that out as we go along throughout the day. And then the other rod is the 7 foot 6 walleye rod with a quarter ounce head with a 4 inch swing impact on it. Yeah, white. Great color. Again, 7 foot 6 walleye professional with a casting model. And this one's rated for 6 to 12 pound test. I've got it with the Daiwa Tatula Reel size 100. 10 pound Cortland Master Braid. And again, the uh, 10 pound liter here for fluorocarbon, but I got a 15.9 pound liter on it because I'm going to be fishing this one a little bit deeper, looking for some bigger fish on purpose. So, those are the two rods today 6.3 to 1 gear ratio retrieve, 5.1 to 1 gear ratio retrieve, and we'll see which one produces best, and then we'll stick with that and see if we can put a few fish in the boat. And uh, thanks for coming along, should be a lot of fun. Hope we catch some. The tools I use for today. Long nose needle nose pliers to help me get the hook out if I need to. Line cutters, a little pair of Frabel scissors are pretty sweet for braid and fluorocarbon. I like that. I got some wire cutters in case the hook gets too deep. I got to cut it out to save the fish. And again, my file so I can keep my uh, hooks sticky sharp. So those are the things I keep in the boat anytime I'm fishing these finesse swim baits for big fish. And the other thing not to forget to wear is wear a good pair of uh, polarized glasses. Because if the hook pops out when you're getting ready to net the fish and it hits you towards the eye, nice for it to strike the glasses and not take your eyeball out. A couple of safety tips. Always wear these glasses of some sort when you're uh, fishing any kind of artificial lures because you don't want it to pop out and smack you in the eye or in the head. Okay, so see what we can get. I mean, you see how clear this water is today, it's just amazing. Really something. I don't know if the camera will pick it up. It's pretty cool though. A lot of weeds out here. Old weed beds. Nobody in them yet. But I gotta believe that those uh, pike and pickerel will definitely start looking around for food in here. And I'm running a chartreuse bottom it's called electric blue chartreuse. I haven't fished that color over here much. I caught a couple on it last year and I didn't really work it too much. Because usually in this gin clear water, I try to stick with the solid bait fish looking presentations. Either the ALY, the bluegill flash, the silver flash, and uh, sometimes the Tennessee shad. I do like the way this thing chunks it right after it at five pound test. Works really good. Not seeing anything exciting yet. So we'll stop the camera and we'll fire it back up again if we find them. Oh, there's one right there just following me. That's a trout. That was a trout. That was a good trout too, man. Holy crap. That was a great trout. Just saw him. That was a trout. Look to be a lake trout. See if we can get him to hit. I don't know if we hit this thing or not, but it's a good looking fish. Got a good look at him. That was pretty cool. I've, I've yet to catch a lake trout doing this. I always thought I should be able to, but I haven't yet. Yeah, and this is telling me to get to that bait fish color right now. Because if, uh, if a lake trout's out there, he's going to want to real looking bait fish. He's not going to want something crazy. He's not going to want nothing too super weird. But I bet you we can get him to bait fish. I bet we can. Let's just rig that dude up and give it a shot. We talked about the L one. I don't normally fish this on a black head. But I'm going to stick with this VMC multicolored head. It's not a bad head. This is what they call the uh, the moon eye. 
you get for obvious reasons. Now you can see it. That was a cool lake trout. It wasn't big, maybe six pounder. Got me kind of excited though. Never caught one over here before. Wouldn't mind catching one. Wouldn't mind catching a lake trout, Bernie. All right. Gonna go the opposite direction. Gonna go with a great big piece of meat now. This little stuff ain't working. Let's bust out the juice. Bust out the big juice. Make it snowed on too. So. Make it a day, boys. Make it a day. Switching it up, team. All right, I'm gonna go the opposite direction. My finesse stuff ain't working, so I got a quarter ounce head with a 3.8 fat swing impact in silver flash. Let's see what happens with this bad boy. Golly, man. You fish are so mean to me today. Dang. That can work double, double hard. Nobody's biting out here. Arraka seka seka. Stinking fish. It's a 6.3 to 1 reel. Plus, the wind's picking up. Don't like that really. Not a big fan of the change in wind direction. It was gonna happen. My ears are getting cold. My hands are getting cold. The bite's kind of cold. Oh. It's 31 degrees when I launched. That wind makes me feel like it's in the 20s. As long as my uh, gear doesn't start icing up, I'll stay with it a little bit longer. Man, I'm frustrated. I got one good bite, and I missed it. Bernie. That's why they call it fishing, Captain, not catching. You've heard that before, I'm pretty sure. What the hell's going on here? Bait so on my bait got ripped. Oh, my bait got ripped. Golly. <laughs> I'm really getting cold too, man. I can't lie to you. It's cold out here. All right. Set up again nice and straight. Let's see what we can do. Golly. Man, it's cold. Choli, cho cho. Might make me go get my jacket. Let me go get my jacket and my gloves. Wow, nothing will hit up this for sure. Let me see if going on the back of my neck will help. It can't hurt. Because the thing is, these fish, when they want to get on his bait, I don't think you can crank it fast enough to take it away from them. I really don't. The only problem with bait casters in the winter is, uh, and you might be able to see it on the film, I don't know, but one of you cast sprays that water off the line. Whew. Make your hands wet really quick, even in a light wind like today. 
can make you just not want to throw it anymore. Dude, get that thing away from me. It's too cold. But I do enjoy fishing big cats in here more than spinning gear. Always have. Always have. All right, thick roll. It's a little bit bigger, huh? Cool. Come here, buddy. Come on, little buddy. Thanks, man. Thanks for playing. Thanks for playing our game. That took a while. That took a while. Easy, bud. Easy. Oh, goodness gracious. Settle down, settle down. Put right back, screw that. Right back. He's broke. He's in my swim bait back, buddy. Oh, yeah. Alrighty. Those are the teeth that are on that dude. Not a whopper, but a really fat one. Look how thick he is. Cool. Alright, little buddy. You've earned your freedom. See you later, little man. Ha! Outstanding. I was looking right at that. Dude, that's a big old pickerel. Good one, too, man. Should be. Lock it down, son. Lock it down. You can get on. It's a nice one. Crying for help. It's a dial though, and these things are darn near bulletproof. They're really nice reels. They really are. There's one. There's another one. A better one. Feels like a better one. Yeah. Decent one. Scrapper do. Just a little scrapper do. Easy, buddy. I get my gloves off. I do not want to get my hands soaking wet with you. Oh, careful. Come here, you little rascal. Have my jig head. Can I have my jig back? Can I have my jig back, please? Now, remember those tools we were talking about earlier? Ah. 
exactly why you need a nice pair of uh, long nose pliers. Think you wanted that Kitek? Hey, cool. There you go. Not a monster, but he's a fish. And he's no worse for wear. Alrighty. Cool. Oh, they're shrinking on me, team. They're shrinking. Whew. So the rest is going to try and take the jig from me. Come here. Oh, come here, turn. Oh. Golly, some little guys here now. Little smurf. Well, they're definitely they're just eating the heck out of the thing, man. I mean, I'm loving that kite tech. Nice little fella, you fine? You're good. Nice scat, buddy. Whew. Craziness. Alrighty. Whew. Alrighty. Well, gang, I think we've located a little pocket of them. Got about an hour left to fish. Crazy. Definitely gonna need to lube this reel up a little bit. Holy crap. The thing I can tell you about wintertime fishing is if you find a little pocket of fish, you don't need to leave them to find more fish. Catch what you can out of that pocket. Once you're sure you've caught all you're gonna catch, then go looking around. I've got a little group of fish over here. Uh, seems pretty active. And I think it's just that the fish are turning on. I think what's happened is I found a little pocket of weeds. You should find those better weeds. That really is the uh, secret to finding all these doggone fish in the winter that are not deep. I'm just wearing a sweatshirt with a long sleeved uh, shirt underneath it. I've been out here for three hours in this wind and 31 degrees, so it's starting to take its toll on me. <laughs> I left my jacket in the truck, which I can see from here, but I just didn't want to go back and get it because I'm too lazy. But that's the uh, bottom I've been looking for, is those little clumps of stuff like that coming up off the bottom. Once you find that, then the fish are around that. Oh, there's one right there, just missed. He came back and got it. He came back and got it. Yeah, we gotta feed him on the drop. Feed him on the drop. I have no idea what he's up. He's gonna smoke my bag or work with me here. Pickerel fishing in Henderson Harbor. Dude, that's a little bit more respectable there. That's a little respectable one. A little fatty across the back. He's my. What's my jig up here? He wanted it too. Look at him in the bone. Hey, can I have my tail back, please? Can I have my tail back, please? Would you work with me, fella? All right. Nice fat one. Cool. Oop. I felt like that swim bit came loose on the cast. I may have to redo that dude.
He ain't dead. He ain't dead. Oh, that's a trick though. If you can catch a couple of them on one bait, you're doing really good. I got three on that one, so no big deal, buddy. See you later. Go to the dead soldier file. Can I reckon this thing up is uh, just want to keep it straight. Keep as straight as you can the hook. Bring it right up to that little, that little gap in the back of the bait right there. And then just just take it up over that little hook keeper. Push up nice and snug. Press up and that holds it right in place. And that's what you got. Pretty straight looking bait, not bad. VMC, that's what they call the Half Moon Finesse J quarter ounce. 15.9 pound fluorocarbon and then the 10 pound Corlin Master Brake. Seems to be working for me. So I'm gonna keep at it. Just had to get around the weeds. Get around the weeds, you get the fish. It doesn't feel like a very big one though. It's like a little guy. It's like a little scooter. But he's fish. It's pretty cool. I like catching fish. They don't all have to be giants. Get in there. Come to the fray bowl. Come to the fray bowl. Hey, little people. Easy Pee Wee Herman. There we go. Easy. Easy. Golly. Feisty little dude. Get that guy kicked back. All right, Pee Wee Herman. Get out of here. Oh. You can find a bigger one. 